Hello, welcome to the 5 Minute Open Daylight Tutorial, Episode 2. Learning by example from the OpenFlow plugin configuration files about required capabilities, modules, and service instances. For this example, we'll be using the OpenFlow plugin project. The OpenFlow plugin project has an OpenFlow controller config Maven project under it that only has the source main resources directory and it has an initial subdirectory there and, and 42-openflow plugin.xml. This is a config file. If you would like to understand more about why it's in an initial subdirectory or why it has the prefix 42, please see the 5 Minute Open Daylight Tutorial, Episode 1. Every OpenFlow plugin.xml, every configuration file in the config subsystem has a series of attributes in common. The first is required capabilities. These are the things that are necessary to be in the system in order for this configuration file to make sense and be applied. In this case, we have four modules. The first is the OpenFlow switch connection provider impl module, an implementation of the switch connection provider service. The second is the module for the OpenFlow switch connection provider. This is the service that provides switch connections. We also need modules for OpenFlow provider impl and OpenFlow provider. We'll look at those subsequently. Modules are defined as sort of collections of configurations for an instance of an implementation. In this case, our first module is of type. OpenFlow switch connection provider impl. One of the capabilities that we required above that we needed for this configuration to make sense. We give it a name, OpenFlow switch connection provider default impl, and specify its port 6633 and its timeout 1500. We then go on to specify a second configuration of exactly the same type of module, OpenFlow switch connection provider impl. We give it a different name, in this case containing the word legacy instead of default, and we give it a different port, 6653, but the same idle connection timeout. I'm going to skip the next module definition because I'd like to talk about service instances. In the services section, we define a service of type OpenFlow switch connection provider. This was the second module that we required for this configuration to make sense. It has two instances. The first one is named OpenFlow Switch Connection Provider Default. And we specify its provider, which is, under the modules, a particular module of type OpenFlow Switch Connection Provider Impl, and with name OpenFlow Switch Connection Provider Default Impl. This was the first configuration that we specified above, shown here. Then for this service, we specify a second instance. We give it a name, OpenFlow Switch Connection Provider Legacy. We specify that it has a particular module, again of type, OpenFlow Switch Connection Provider Impl, but this time with a different name, OpenFlow Switch Connection Provider Legacy Impl, which is defined as the second module that we looked at above. Each of these services here defined in addition to being available by the config subsystem for wiring into other components, also are published, each instance, into the service registry in OSGI, so that it can be, they can be accessed with property name that matches the name configured here. We'll subsequently be talking about wiring these particular service instances into the OpenFlow provider in subsequent tutorials. This concludes OpenFlow 5-Minute Open Flow Tutorial, Episode 2. I hope it was helpful, and I will talk to you later.